Welcome back to Let's Play AC Milan. And as you can see, since last episode, we have played quite a few games. Uh, first off, we got a draw away against Fenerbahce in uh, the Euro Cup. And then we managed to beat uh, Kievo and Lazio in, in the league. And then we got a win versus Dynamo uh, Bucharesti in, in the Euro Cup. And today we're up against uh, Udinese. And Udinese, uh, it's a special game in in one way. And I'm going to show you why. First off, if we go to the league table, currently um, they are the team just behind us. Which means that we are extremely close. Look at this, we have the exact amount of points. And the only difference between us is the goal difference. And uh, yeah, that means it's going to be a very tough game, a very important game. If we manage to beat them, we will take three points, which brings us up to third place. But if he loses, it's going to be the other way around. They will overtake us, and they will overtake Bologna and move up to uh, the third place, considering we both team that wins are going to have better goal difference uh, than Bologna. So it's an extremely important game, and Udinese is having a very impressive season. Like, for, for example, if you click them here and go and, and check out the uh, predictions, the media prediction is 13th place. 13th place, and they're currently, like, if they win this game, they're going to be in third place. So they are performing extremely well. Definitely uh, the overperformers this far into the season. So they are having an extremely impressive season. And that, other than that, like, let's take a look at their schedule. They have gone 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six league games in a row without a loss. Six games in a row. But sorry, Odinessa, it's time for that to change. It's time to break the streak here. Six games without losing. Today, it have to end. And um, this is the way we're going to start the game. We are resting Borini because he's a bit tired from the Euro Cup game. And as, also, all, as always, some rotations going on here. Uh, with most of the midfield uh, slots, uh, but other than that, nothing special. We are ready to play and we are ready to break the streak. But yeah, it's a very important game, as I said, because if they win, their streak will continue and they will overtake uh, us in the league table. They will be in top three and we will be down to fifth place. But that's a big difference, at least to me, like being in top three. Or being in fifth place. I mean, both pretty high in the, in the league table, but still it's a huge difference. But the lads need to know this is for, for real. So I'm going to tell them, I expect nothing but a win from this match. And, well, didn't have the greatest effect. So let's talk to some individual team parts also. I'm going to tell our defenders, I have faith in them. Same with the midfielders. Guys, I believe in you. I trust in you. I have faith in you. And of course, up on top, believe in you, my friend. And slightly better, but uh, not a huge difference here. So definitely not one of my best team talks. But what can we do other than start the game? And uh, we have been off to a pretty good stint ourselves. Uh, uh, last loss was uh, the Juve game. And... Uh, it's basically two teams that, that comes into this game with a pretty decent stint of results behind them. Here's Antonelli with a throw-in. Goes through the middle. Here's Kessie. Kessie. Oh my god, that was a really good shot. Uh, but also a great save by their uh, goalkeeper. And I've been experimenting a lot with uh, with corner instructions here. Uh, and maybe we're going to see some results from it. I'm hoping uh, our team will be performing a little bit better with corners. Because I've been doing that... Basically, before this game and before last game, I've been changing up quite a bit with, with the corner instructions. But we need to play games to see if uh, those ch changes actually is working or if, uh, or if they're not going to have any effect at all. And uh, it looked like the Donnarumma got a little bit surprised with, uh, with that shot because uh, he was just standing there for quite some time. But then in the last second, he managed to save it and tip it out to a corner. And I believe if... Uh, he would have seen it coming, that wouldn't have been a corner. Uh, he should probably have saved it pretty easy. But um, there was probably some, some players in his way and 
made it hard for him and he didn't see it until the last minute. Take a look at the statistics here. We are dominating things. Five shots compared to two, three on target compared to two. But it's not like a huge domination here. It's not like we are running them over. And I feel like we need to improve. We need to step it up. And that is going to be a red card. It's going to be a red card. And that's a very, very good news for us, of course. Barak gets a red card. And we also have a free kick here in a good position. And um, it's just over. But that red card will definitely have some effect. Let's uh, take a look at their formation here. See uh, how they are playing since they got one guy sent off. Uh, there it is. So they are playing kind of a, a weird formation here. They're definitely focusing a lot uh, on uh, the middle here. You can see they are playing narrow and putting all the guys uh, in the middle. So maybe we can see if we can, can explo exploit uh, the flanks here. A little bit more, but uh, we're gonna give it some time before we change this anything. We want to see what uh, what happens uh, first, so we're gonna give it a few more minutes. But that could definitely be something to use and tr and try to exploit their uh, their flanks because uh, they're focusing everything in the middle right now. This could be a dangerous counter-attack. Here is Silva, here is Silva, and it's just outside the post. Decent try, not good enough, but uh, we are creating some stuff here. Dominating a lot, eight shots compared to two now, but um, still goalless, and the lads needs, of course, to know that we are not pleased. We need to step it up here for the second second half. Well, let's go to the tactics screens. Is there any way we would like to try to exploit the way they are playing? First off, we could definitely go more on the attacking side here with our defenders. Maybe even wing backs. We'll have to think about that. Later on, if nothing happens, I could probably put them up here because they won't have much defensive uh, work to do at all as long as uh, they are playing the way they do. But we have a yellow card here on Biglia and we don't want to risk uh, getting one guy sent off ourselves. So we'll have him ease off on his tackles a bit. And uh, for the for the instructions for the whole team, we are going to try to we want to exploit the flanks, but we yeah probably something like that dish, something like that dish. And since they are playing very narrow, maybe we can try to even play wide here. Of course, that's a risk yeah, that uh, it's going to be easy for them to exploit the middle. But I think we could try that considering considering the way they are currently playing. So uh, let's see how this works. We are going to start the second half here and uh, and see if uh, it is possible for us to, to take advantage of them getting all together in the middle. But what I want to do, we want to remove this one. We don't need to keep track on the shots. We want to keep uh, track of uh, of their formation in case they change it or anything to try to counter us in the way we are playing. Well, I'm into where are you going? You're going nowhere. Beautiful challenge there, but it's still in the Udinese possession. That's better. Guys, you need to step it up. We are attacking. You guys should be a little bit higher up in the pitch, I feel. And that was an interesting highlight. We're going to get a corner from it, but yeah, I'm not sure if he really meant to take a shot from that uh, distance. Probably just tried to cross it and hit it a little bit uh, a little bit wrong, and it became like a decent try. Let's see, and look at this, that should be a goal, and it is a goal, Bonaventura, and uh, I haven't talked about much uh, much about uh, Bonaventura, but he is actually playing in the same position as Borini, but uh, during the first part of the season, he was injured, that's why you guys haven't seen his uh, name around before, uh, I believe this is the first episode he is playing since he's got back from his injury. And uh, it's not great, but he's like pretty all-around decent in 
most things and I will most likely have him rotate in this position with with Borini because we have a lot of other players that can play in the middle but yeah now he has presented himself in a good way uh, to you guys now everybody knows who he is because um, he's a goal scorer just like Borini used to score of course Borini's replacement had some big shoes to step in and need to score the, uh, score himself yeah, beautiful play here by Kessie. It's actually a fantastic pass there that by Kessie. It sets uh, Bonaventura up completely. And the corner is cleared. Still keeping an extra eye out on the corners, as I said. I've been doing a lot of experimenting with uh, with the corner instructions. And I'm hoping we should be able to improve on, on the corner uh, apartment. And look at that. Look at that. A decent free kick from Soso. And uh, then Mosakio kind of gets it. First, the ball is bouncing around a bit around his feet. When he finally gets it in place, he just can put it in, in more or less an open net. And uh, yeah, we are really taking advantage here of it being one man more on the pitch. And yes, I'm saying that, of course, could be a corner from Udinese. And uh, that was very close to a goal also. It was a really, really good chance for them. Looking at statistics, we are completely dominating things. 17 shots versus 3, 9 on goals versus 2. So, I mean, if we can keep this up, we shouldn't be seeing many highlights from them. But let's see who's having a good day at work, or more likely who's going to have a bad day at work. And no, none of them are, like, too bad. So let's focus who's tired instead. And it is Bonaventura. He's still lacking a bit of match fitness here. He's just come back from his injury. So let's bring in uh, Borini here instead. Because we all know that on a good day, Borini can score a lot of goals. Because uh, that's what he's been doing for us. And I think we can uh, replace Bigley also since he has that yellow card. No reason that why we would like to, to risk a, a second one and having him sent up. So uh, we're going to go like that. And then let's continue the game. You can see a massive, massive focus on the middle from, from their part. Which is to be expected, considering uh, the way they are playing. Definitely to be expected. I think it's time for, for the last sub. Uh, we should go with uh, Kessie. He's been fantastic, but he's one of the most important players. And a player that I don't rotate much, because I don't have uh, any play that really can replace him in a good way so uh, whenever we can get a chance to rest him that's what we're going to do maybe some timing to bring in one of our youngsters here at, uh, at the end of the game always great when you can give them some first team ex ex experience so yeah good option good timing to, to uh, do that And clock is just ticking, and we have another corner. Oh my god, that was so close, so very close. The top bar is still shaking off that cannon. And now the post, we are really putting some pressure here on the woodwork. Let's with the top bar with a big cannon, and then another big cannon in the, in the, the post. But we are into extra time and uh, should be around four minutes left to play. And the clock is ticking quickly. I'm guessing this is going to be the end of the game highlight, but maybe Sosa wants to create something before the ref blows the whistle. Doesn't look like it. And that's a full-time whistle. Of course, we got a little bit lucky with uh, with the red card. But other than that, we must be very pleased with this game. Considering the way Udinese has been playing. Considering that they were at the same points as us before this game. Considering they had played six games without a loss. It was beautiful timing to uh, put an end to their streak. And we managed to do it. And uh, let's take a look at the league table here after the game, see how things look. 
So there it is. And we are up to three third place. Um taking climbing three uh, not three, two places in the league table, going from fifth to four third. And that's beautiful. We're still quite a bit behind uh, Juve, but uh, we are not too far behind Inter. But we need to remember that Inter has played one less game, so they can be quite far ahead uh, if they manage to win that game. They are playing Roma away, so uh, I guess we'll have to hope uh, that Roma does a, does a good day's work versus Inter. But still, we are here uh, where we want to be in the top three. The goal for this season is not to win the league. It would be beautiful if we did, but realistically, considering the team we have, we should be nowhere near beating Juve and winning the, the league this season. But, uh, I mean, everything is possible. This is Football Manager. Maybe we get lucky with a few goals, while Juve gets unlucky with a few injuries and so on, and I never know what's going to happen. Let's take a look at the schedule, though, for the future, so we know what's coming we have some uh, league games now so Zulu, Napoli we have some Euro Cup games and uh, I'm not sure which game is going to be the next episode let's take a look here at like is there any special games like special teams we want to keep track of it might be actually it might be um, the next episode might be a Euro Cup game We'll have to wait and see see what happens because we always want to do episodes with exciting games uh, that has a special meaning like this Odinese game. But enough talking, that's it for this episode. As always, a massive thank you uh, to everybody that tuned in to watch um, this episode. If you enjoyed it, press that like button and I'll see you in the next episode.